Hey, what's up guys? Thank you all very much for joining in for episode 3 of my Portal 2 Let's Play. I figured I'd start. I'd welcome you guys by saying thanks to episode X of Portal 2 instead of Portal 2 episode X. Because that seemed to have confused me in the previous episode a little. <laughs> At the beginning there. This next test involves the, back. the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. I could have sworn that we've already played this, um, this test chamber. I don't understand why we're doing this again. So here's what I'll do. I will play this episode, uh, this test chamber. As though, as though it's the only one that we're going to end up replaying. Interesting fact: you are not breathing real air. It's too extensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faceplates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Okay, that seems seems to be back on track. It was only that one one test chamber that we had to redo. I was gonna cut out anything that we had to redo if it was more than that one. But I think we're okay. Oh jeez, I forgot. Uh, uh, damn it. Okay, how do I handle this part again? Okay, put that there, put that here. Okay, so portals first, then jump. How's that? That should work. Let's see what happens. Woo! Woo! <laughs> the little... The little audio tracks that play while you fly through the air is just such a nice touch, such a solid touch. Okay, now I need to bring through the cube. Yeah. Hey, there's a zoom button. I didn't, didn't even remember that. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. What are these balls? Does anyone know? You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Look at that. It looks like one of those um, module personality module cores. Just minus the personality. <laughs> Where's the, the little tar? Hello, buddy. What's you doing down there? got this so um why do I need to jump down there that doesn't feel right does it uh, this can't be right let's try it see what happens uh. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. Ouch. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this <laughs> apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. <laughs> Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Okay, what's this? Laser. Okay, I can handle it. Uh, what? I was weakly back here just now. 
Ah, it's a uh, companion cube. Accidentally fizzled that before you could complete the test. Yes, you asshole. Well. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh no, <laughs> I fizzled that one too. Oh well, we have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Oh my goodness, that'd be crazy. Oh, there you are. Ah. There's an easter egg in which you can grab him. Oh, it's not an easter egg, it's more of a glitch. You can actually grab him out of there. And then, um... And then you can just carry him around with you. Let's just do that. So, I'm watching a Let's Play of, uh... Getting Over It, I think the game's name is. By the... The YouTuber's name is Mathis. Um, and the game is about, like, you're this dude, and you're... Your lower body is stuck in this cauldron and you've got nothing but a hammer to like navigate to like move yourself around with um, and it's just this infuriating game by the looks of it <laughs> and it's like yes big up for you to put that stuff on youtube and like i would not be able to i wouldn't be i would not be able to play that game let alone play it on youtube you know so uh but yeah definitely check it out i'll, I'll put a card to uh to his let's play if i remember uh in this video let me see at uh i forget what to do here oh it's just a it's just a ordinary jump i can do this i believe in me you know gotta believe in yourself yeah even matter Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill and its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Yeah, right. Like that would ever happen. Hup. Ah. I think that one was about to say, I love you. They are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Okay. I vaguely remember. Question mark? Oh no. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, if you have any questions, <laughs> just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. <laughs> I think one of the... Oh, jeez. Now that I remember... <laughs> I forgot. I, I still haven't looked up any sort of... Um, Trivia about Portal. I'm sorry, guys. I'll, I'll be. I'll get it eventually. <laughs> Just gotta be patient with me. Um, but yeah, I was about to say. I think one of the the trivia videos that I watched once said that that fast gibberish that she just spoke. Apparently, you can slow it down, and then it's like I think um, Spanish or something, which actually explains what's going on here, or something like that. I don't quite remember. But yeah, it was quite fascinating stuff. Oh yes, about the sound. I'm not trying my previous configuration, but what I'm not going to do is I'm going to turn my... Relax, buddy. Yo. It, it doesn't work. It's not going to work. Just be down. That's crazy. So I'm going to try one last sound test where I used my first configuration that was so soft. But then I'm going to change it to... Um... Then I'm gonna like increase my my voice volume in post production. Hey, Ridley. Well, I'm back. The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. No. Try it now. Hey, right? Ridley. Mm, this plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few <laughs> to the maximum weight. 
You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. Okay. Right, couldn't believe either. <laughs> you seem to have defeated its load bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. Thank you. Let's try that again. There we go. Oh, that was disorienting. Anyway, yeah, so I'm trying this one last test with the sound, and then if the if it turns out that the previous configurations sounded better, uh, then we'll stick with that. The only problem that I had with it was that uh, it's very, it picks up a lot of other noise as well. So what I'm doing and so on uh, seems to be picked up. What just happened? Why did that, that get set up? Anyway. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. Um, but keep watching this space, <laughs> I guess. I mean, <laughs> if you're hearing, you're probably already watching this space, but that's besides the point right now. Okay, whoop oh, thank you. What does this do? Okay, now I need to find a way over there. So let's drop this one right here. We're just gonna do this, because why not? Thank you. Oh! <laughs> Ah, oh, that's so epic, you just fly through the air like a bird. Ah, okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point this at this wall. I think right there. Yeah, it looks fine. I'm gonna put one here. And one here, I know. I mean, ouch. I know, it's frequent so ouch. In case you know, I'm wondering. But now, how do I get up there? You see, I need to do this first. I need to get up there first. And then put those two portals in. Hup. Ow. My head. Okay. Easy does it. There we go. We're Look up. At you sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. <laughs> Man, this Gladys on point. Uh, yeah, I also started playing um, Horizon Zero Dawn on Friday on, on PC. Here's my elevator. Um, it is epic. So cool. So I'm thinking I might want to cover that in our next series. Um, but I obviously don't want to get ahead of myself or anything. Let's just get to the Portal 2 first, which is going to be a long enough game, I think. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. <laughs> yeah, she's an asshole. So yeah, I think it would be pretty cool to uh, play... What's the game that I just mentioned? <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn. It is such an epic game. Dude. Like, back when it came out on PlayStation, I considered making debt <laughs> to buy a PlayStation just so that I could play the freaking game. I had a, I have a friend who actually sold his PC at the time to buy a PlayStation so that he could play Horizon Zero Dawn and I don't even blame him. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Uh, let's try to just quickly think. Okay, so I jump up here. Oh, I need to, I need to interrupt this beam somewhere. Let's go grab that cube. So uh, I can, I think I know what to do here. Portal up there. Portal down here. Add auto do us. Yep. How cool is this? Perfectly balanced and stuff. That is really epic. Thank you, Floor. Uh, okay, now I just wanna drop down there. Yeah. Add uh, auto do it. And then I will jump up here. This backtrack, this flying through the air backtrack, is really nice in this uh, test chamber, as far as I remember. Okay, put that there. So let's try that again. See what we need to do next. Okay, so now we can do that. Thank you. So now we need to bring the laser up here somehow. 
Let's see what we can do. Just gonna jump down on this side, I think. Yeah, that ought to do it. Oh, I cannot direct it with that cube. Okay, okay, okay. I should have brought that cube with me. Maybe I should have taken. No, 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 no. I shouldn't have taken that cube yet. Okay, let's grab this cube. I'm gonna direct it into that white wall over there. And then place a portal to grab it on the top side. So you'll see what I mean to that. Give me a second. Okay, place that there. Put a portal right there. Yeah, that was fine. I don't mind it coming out of that floor over there. It's not gonna get in the way of what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna grab this block. And then go all the way up here. Um, then, what color is that portal? That's uh, a blue one. So we put the orange on here. Boom, check that. Okay, now what? Let's... Oh, let's, let's try it again. I'll leave that cube there for now. Oh, come back for it. Damn, that's high full. Woo! Okay, so we don't need that, that cube here. Um, now how do I get up there? How am I gonna get up there? I suppose I'm gonna have to jump through my blue portal here. I'll place my blue portal back where it was. Okay, we're good. Gonna grab this cube. It's almost as if this backtrack gets more intense the closer you get to your goal, you know? But now it's soft again. Well, you passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. Well, at least she's not kidnapping strangers. <laughs> Except for us, obviously. We, we, we're obviously a stranger to her that she kidnapped. <laughs> that she st stole to cut them. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. <laughs> okay, I think that down there is acid. So, uh, I'm not gonna go down there, but let's see what Redman has to say. Only not worth seeing my eyes. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. This... Oh, idiot. This thing, like... Seeing my eyes only not worth but this thing like only not worth seeing my eyes Only not worth this thing like seeing my eyes mm, I feel like I am missing something something simple And I'm being stupid. So if anyone can decode what Dal is written there uh, I'm all ears Place that there, place that there. I think that ought to do us. Of course not. That is a button. That is a cube. Okay, so I think, if I remember correctly, I need to place this one here. Yes, yes. Then over here. Then over here very well wait to the left a little yeah that looks good I'm gonna jump out here then I need to get over there how the hell am I doing that? was I being stupid now? or did no one understand what just happened? <laughs> Let's put that back here. Run over. Oh, I think this thing is gonna continuously release boxes. Take a look. Okay, bye. Yeah, it continuously releases boxes. So, 
it was a little uh, I was being a little stupid but also I think it's understandable because this is the first box release button that we've encountered that doesn't just drop one and then you need to press it again to drop another if that makes sense okay boom and there is my box thank you my cube thank you mr. pipe thingy thank you <laughs> okay, I promise to never do that again that was super lame I will be the first to admit it I can do this. I can do this. I'm smart. Um, I, I talk to computers for a living, so should be able to handle this. Uh, I just realized that we are significantly over time, so I shall start the goodbye saying process now already. Um, thanks for watching. No, this, this feels unnatural. <laughs> I'll, I'll try it again at the end. Excellent. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. <laughs> only trying to help us, are you? Yes. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, please stay tuned for the next episode in which we will continue to do testing. Please tell me how, how you're doing in the comment section and what you've been up to and how lockdown has treated you. And tell me one of your silly lockdown rules in your country. So in our country, they don't sell alcohol or cigarettes. Now, I don't personally smoke, so that doesn't affect me. But I do like having a beer every Friday. Yeah, or well, every once in a while. And I'm not allowed to do that because of our stupid arbitrary lockdown rules. So yeah, that's today's challenge. Is you guys tell me what stupid arbitrary rules are implemented in your country, or one of them, or the stupidest one. And uh, we'll see whose country's government is the worst. <laughs> anyway, like, comment, subscribe, all those lovely things. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.